what people are interesting. We always think famous people are more interesting than everybody else, but the truth is you're more interesting than most famous people. And you're most interesting. And you're more interesting. And you're more interesting. Everybody's got a story, but we don't seek out the stories of people around us. Sometimes we work with somebody 2,000 hours a year. We don't know anything about them. We don't know their kids' names. We don't know what they like to do for fun. But we go all fanboy on celebrities. We know everything about them. People we'd never meet. It's interesting. I told you earlier that uh, I'm a big fan of meeting people. And on a normal day, uh, non-pandemic day, I would have met 75% of you before the program. So I'll apologize for that. But I would have done the same trick that I did to meet uh, Mr. Holbrook. I would have walked up to you in your seat and said, hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. My name's Michael. I'm your speaker today. And I just want to say hi before we start the program. And probably shake your hand. We, I don't know if we're going to go back to that stuff anymore, but that was my old routine. I, I like doing it. I like learning people's stories. I'm interested in people. And I got that from my dad, who had a great little uh, life skill. My dad. <laughs> Uh, my dad used to say that if you meet somebody and they don't remember meeting you, it's the worst insult ever. So my dad worked really hard at first impressions. Like if you met my dad, you'd never forget. Not because he was weird or eccentric. He was just that memorable, you know. And even when um, I was single for a long time, I'm engaged to be married now to the redhead and things are great. But man, I, and the auditions are over. <laughs> but I was single for so long. And my guy friends loved going out with me to the bar because I was fearless, man. I would walk up to anybody and introduce myself. Those are the days, you know. And, um, and one day, my guys uh, pulled me aside and they said, what's up with you, man? How do you, where'd you get this ability to do this? Because it was like, I don't know what happens to men in guys and uh, boys really in, in school you know when you have to walk all the way across the room to ask a woman to dance and if she says no what do you have to do you got to walk all the way back again to your mates and you know what they're going to ask you what she say <laughs> you know and then she said no and you know and you're like this the rest of the night you just can't pull yourself out of it i never had that probably thanks to the music business and my mates one time pulled me aside and they said, how is it you can walk across the room and introduce yourself to people you've never met before? And I said, I think everybody wants to meet me. 